Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of GeoGuessr. And guess what? The game has changed. Badge did this challenge a few days ago. I haven't had the chance to play it yet, but all he said was, the game has changed. I gotta actually make sure there's no rules to this. Nope, it doesn't say anything. It just says it's changed. So let's find out how it's changed. But you can already tell by this splash screen that it has. So start the challenge. Five rounds. I don't believe there's any special rules, but that makes me believe there's probably a lot more land to explore as well. Man, I would give this one, <laughs> I would give this one instantly to Hawaii, but. Um, where are you going? Okay, let's go this way. Okay, here we go. Uh, how about we go Asian? Let's do that instead. Um, move this so it's not all bright. What language is this? I don't know, but no, I want this road. That vehicle is gone. Somewhere Asian. Uh, it really wanted me to go down this road. My question is why? Oh, wait, what does this say? <laughs> Who knows, but it says something in Asian. Let's see, more Asian? Huh, even more Asian. I'm thinking we're in Japan. I I'm, I'm guessing Japan, and I'm going to turn down this road that it originally tried to force me to go down. Do I really want to do this? Now it doesn't even want me to go down this road. Oh no, it actually bumped me back on. Just hit the forward button. Okay. So let's... Let's just keep it moving. Keep it moving. I don't know if I'm going to get any better guess at the end of this road. Okay, uh, Japan it is. Japan it is. Uh, you know, the sad thing is my initial thought process looking at the landscape was Vietnam. I didn't say that at all, I know, but I want to say J Japanese, and I've got no better guess than inland Japan right here at Nagano. Uh, I would have been better to guess Vietnam, I think. Huh. Actually... No. So is that... Is this a little island off of Thailand? Or excuse me, Taiwan? I'm not really sure, but either way, I did better. Go to the next round. And a beautiful landscape. Yellow lines. A road sign. Whoa. Better landscape instantly. That was weird. It starts you coincidentally at that... Worst possible picture it could have. And then it gets into better pictures. So let's see if we can read this thing. Ooh. The CR-160. I don't think this is English. I mean, there's a, it is a stop sign, but as we know, those are everywhere. Just the way it had, like, a little accent over the numbers. But who has an accent over numbers? There is yellow lines and stuff, though. I can't assume this isn't America, can I? Wait, what did this one say? There's no accent on this one. So I think it's just county road. So you know what? Let's go let's go back with our American guess. I'm saying cornfields everywhere. Nebraska. Maybe. Maybe this truck will help. Come on, truck. Oh. Thank you. For that oh my god okay here we go u.s dot okay so we're definitely in the u.s it doesn't really matter what this truck says because this truck could be from anywheres and anywheres um it used to be a hay truck <laughs> it is no longer a hay truck i'm kind of curious where it's from though roberts 
Texas? Arlington? Or something Texas? So that, hmm. In the United States, I will tell you, a lot of trucks are registered to Texas uh, because Texas has no state tax. So therefore, or like income tax when they take it out. So when you run a business, if you station it in Texas, you can much more easily pay less taxes if you're a Texas company. Oh, but we are in Texas. And I just blew right through that sign. Come on. Two fourteen in Texas? Is that what it was? Yeah, we are in Texas. North two fourteen. So Texas being nice and small. We probably can easily find the two fourteen. I'm being facetious. Uh, I mean, we're going to see if we get lucky here at this zoom level because I do seem to be finding a lot of these roads. I think it's one of these type of roads. Lafayette. Oh, that's Louisiana. So let's just randomly look for the 214. And if we find it by chance, we will feel good. If not, we will keep going and look for an intersection. It might not even be one of these particular types of roads, but I can't miss out on the opportunity to do it. And it is a north-south road. Okay, I don't see the 214 at the zoom level. So it very well might not be one of these size roads. It could be at a, at a different zoom level that I would have to go to actually see it. I want to see if I can get farther up and into a town or something. It's a bunch of animals. Here's a blue sign coming up. What is this blue sign? picnic area so somewhere in Texas with a picnic area I'm backing up to see that truck not that not that they help that much uh, I was just hoping to see like a city on the side of it or something we're unfortunately kind of out in the middle of nowhere here's that picnic area there's a propane truck? Oh no. I don't know what kind of truck that is. Doesn't really matter. Unless I can get it into a, a town or something. I don't think we're having any better guess than the fact that we're in Texas on the 214. Which I have no oh wait, here we go. There's a building is at least. We might get lucky enough that they happen to have the town name. That it's an easy enough to find town. Or we could get completely unlucky and have nothing show up. Mm, that's a nothing. Okay. Nothing it is. What does this say? It's a big thing of tech. Oh, the Junction 4. God damn it. I hit a button. So I clicked. I think it was that sign. Yeah, the Junction 4, the 1894 Farm Road. Hmm. Is this trying to signify, though, that I'm way up here? No, that's just the bolt. Never mind. That's just the bolt. 1894 Farm Road, I'm almost positive, is not really going to help me. I can't read what that says at all. Here we go. So here's the 1894 West. Oh, what is 
this say? The 214 north and south meeting up with the 1894. Trying to get it at different zoom levels. Yeah, look at that when you zoom in. Look how many more show up. Oh my, this is going to be... This is going to be a brutal find. 242, 241, 226, maybe 215. Oh, come on. The 114. And I know the way Badge plays this game, too. He is like... He's already found the 214. He's looking for the junction of the 1894. I know, I know. Now I'm in the fours. They seem to actually be relatively well differentiated from one another. Not over there at all. The one, there's that 114 again. And maybe I was at like the perfect zoom level before because I can't find any of those roads anymore. Oh, yeah. It's zoomed in once more. That's why. Oh, that's just going to be 1763, 62, 267. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking of giving this the good old guess because I don't think I'm going to get to. Any better way? There's the 213, 214, but this 214 is an east west road. So it must not be. Hmm. It must not be that kind of road or that particular 214. Yep. Okay, so where do I think is farm country in Texas? I'm going to say farm country in Texas is right here by San Angelo. Right over there. What did I tell you? That piece of crap. There's the 214 that I didn't see because I wasn't at the right zoom level. And did he go find the 1894? We didn't find the 1894. There it is. Yep. It's the way badge works. Slow and steady wins the race, I guess. Something like that. Let's see. I'm thinking. Um, red brick? Hmm. I don't know yet. Looks like we drive driving the right side of the road because there we go. Dragozi. Patek? I have no idea. I don't know what any of those are. Scania. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. We didn't overtake. Go in the other direction. Skelp. Uh, is this Poland? Hmm. Looks kind of like Polish to me. Like the language. See what this says. Don't these signs normally happen in Kamtowki 
590 to Barciani. Those look Nordic, like those bus signs. I think I always see those in the Nordic regions. But I see no umlauts or anything of the sort to give me that distinction. The 590 toward Kiem? Oh, except for the T with the weird cross. Corsi. Is there any T's with the weird cross up here? I don't think I've ever seen any. Why is my instinct telling me South Africa? No, those are normal teas. Kiem Tauki. Let me look at Poland. Where I originally thought that maybe the language looked Polish. No, there's a lot of accents but they do have a lot of keys like ki at the end of their words and just to find a straight up numbered highway of the 590 i don't ooh oh corsese calisese I don't even know if that's anything close or not. Where are we leaving? We're leaving Dragozi. Dragozi? Dragozi. Um, hmm. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going for a little bit. Ursus. I don't know about that license plate at all. A lot of farmland. I, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. Anything written on this van anywhere? No, there's a license plate that I can actually somewhat read. Doesn't help though, it doesn't say where it's from. Oh, there's a sign coming up here. What's this sign? McGarby. McGarby. Oh. Wait, what was that sign? Was it Stresselski? No. Frick. The bus signs look so familiar. So familiar. What does this thing say? Can't read that enough. Mm. Very frustrating for me. And I just got myself turned around. Ugh. Okay, well, that's the van I was following, but I overtook, so I'm going this way. Come on. Okay, let's see if this helps. Or a dozy. La dozy. What's this say? Poik. 
I'm going Poland. I, I got to go Poland. I just don't know where in Poland. Okay, Poland it is. Where at in Poland? Anybody's guess. Krakow, Przemyski. I'd like to find one of the KI ones. I don't see any all of a sudden. Okay, whatever. Oh, I was right about Poland. He was way closer in Poland. I gotta watch how much time he takes on these things because maybe I've just got a wrong strategy going on here. Okay, American Northwest. Actually, it doesn't even need to be American Northwest. It can just be... Come on. Okay, fine. I'll go the other way down the road. Stop it. Century 21. I just keep getting turned around. Let's use the arrow keys for a while. I can't even read what this sign says, and I could be no closer to it. It kind of looks like northern Michigan, which is kind of amazing. I love Michigan. I don't think it is. It actually does not look like the Pacific Northwest to me, just because the trees aren't nearly as tall uh, that you normally see in your typical GeoGuessr. Let's see if I can read this sign at all. Arrow. Yes, I can. I can read that sign. I can read it wonderfully. It's an arrow. This one is a tricky one, isn't it? It's because you can't like click the right ways. Now I think I turned around again. It's really... I mean, I grew up in Michigan, so... It really reminds me of northern Michigan, but it's probably somewhere in. Oh, I just turned around. Where would this be better suited for? Oh, stop turning around for the love of God, please. You know, I'm okay. I'm going for oh, we're going to look at the semi real quick. Not a Michigan license plate. Hmm. No idea. Absolutely not a clue. I'm going to just go for the money on this one and go for Northern Michigan. Uh, though I'm 99% sure this is not, it looks remarkably like it though, but I've never seen something like that show up in GeoGuessr before. But you can't read a damn thing on these signs. So here we go. And we're going to go Northern Michigan as in like, where was my old, where's my old cabin? At where it at? Wasn't in Grayling. It's closer than Houghton Lake. It's a little farther than West Branch. It's somewhere in this general vicinity. We're gonna go right there. Not even close. No, no, no oh my God! I am the champion. I looked at the thing real quick and I was so sure that it was our it was badges that truly was Northern Michigan. Holy crap. Dude, that is all I told you it looked so much like it. I used to have a, a cabin way up here. Um I lived in Flint and we had a cabin that we drove to all the time and I, that, it was remarkably like that. Granted, that was a little farther up. 
I went to a wedding up there's Traverse City. Traverse City is pretty awesome over in Petoskey a couple of years ago, and it was awesome as well. Um, that oh my god, I'm so impressed and happy. Michigan making an appearance. Woo! Woo! I guess all states don't look alike because man, I picked Northern Michigan out of a crowd. Okay, subdivision of some type. That's all I got. This has got to be in somewhere like uh, Ohio, Pennsylvania. 20. I'm assuming it's miles per hour school that you know, we are in America, not Canada. Lachley. Can we get out of the subdivision, though? Uh, where's the main road? I guess I should look at these things and see if I can find like a realty sign or something like that. Amos Boulevard. Mm, like if something's for sale, let's see if it has like the state at a minimum. What's up, dude? Um working it working it oh here we go here we go i don't know if i'm at an angle where i can read this thing 504 i mean i got to an area code but i unfortunately don't know what area code that is heart realty 504 again wish i knew what a 504 was but i don't give me a city and a state please no trucks blah 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 and we're in the bad thing again. Wait, here another realty. Man, a lot of houses for sale in here. Hable Espanol. Okay, so somewhere with a decent Spanish population, I would assume. Wait, this is me turning around. Otherwise, you know, it's advertising on your realty sign that you speak Spanish is not really that lucrative if you. If there's hardly any people who speak Spanish that are in the neighborhood. So, I mean, it could be. I mean, this is just being stereotypical, but it could be down like Texas, could be in areas just outside of D.C. This does not look like areas just outside of D.C., though. I would give this to Texas. Oh, I just somehow turned around on this road because I, there's that basketball hoop that was on the ground. Let's see if we can get out to a main road now. End school zone. So we're going out of the school zone. I don't know if that's good or bad. I kind of rather go toward the school. Come on. Oh, Jesus. It loves to just turn me around. Oh, can we see if there's a... The numbers on the boat? What is that? The numbers on the boat will tell you if you can read where that boat go, what state it's registered in, but I don't even know where the boat's at anymore. It's gone. It is a boat town. I gotta go with Texas for now. I mean, but you know what? If it's Texas, oh God. Look at that poor flag. Look at the beautiful flag. Poor flag. Beautiful flag. Poor flag. Um, if it's Texas, I would assume you would see a lot more Texas flags. Granted, there's a lot of American flags, but Texans like to show their Texas pride. And I would guess a lot more Texas flags. So let's see if we can get out of this neighborhood. No, it just dead ends back here. Vintage old car. Okay, maybe we are in Texas. Big Confederate flag waving around. I think I'm back on the Texas path. And that's all I got. So, I don't know where else to go in Texas. Let's hope this Michigan one was enough for the win. Beautiful Texas. Yeah. Louisiana, oh god, 
Oh god, bad shit really good. How did he know it was Louisiana? Or was that just a guess, just as the same as my Texas was? I won! Michigan for the win! Whoop, whoop! Yeah! Oh, that feels good. That feels good. I finally sealed in a win. Oh, all thanks to Michigan. Love you, Michigan. All right, guys. We'll see you next time.